Hi, this video is all about common factors. There's another video that you can link to which is just on how to find factors and you may like to watch that first if you're not sure how to find factors. Okay, four examples, two on listing factors and two on finding the highest common factor. What does it mean to have something in common? That's going to help us understand what we mean by a common factor. So when you have something in common with someone, it means that you like you both like something, you are both similar in some way, that kind of thing. It's as if you're, you're sharing a preference or sharing some, a characteristic. Well these two people, they both like pizza. So you could say that one of the things they have in common is a love of pizza. Okay. Well how does that relate to common factors? Alright, well if I say that this person uh, represents the number 18 and this is the number 24, then common factors are all the factors that they both have in common. And how do I find out which ones they have in common? Well here's an easy way to do it. It's quite methodical but it will always get you the right answer. 18. What are the factors of 18? 1, 2, 3, 6 and 18. Let's check that I've got them all. 1 and 18, 2 and... oh wait, there's one missing. 9. So we need to have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. And what about the factors of 24? The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. How do I go about finding the common ones? Very simple. Look in both lists and work out which ones are in both lists, which factors are in both lists. 1 is in both now that's going to be pretty obvious. Every whole number has a factor of 1, or has 1 as a factor, and therefore when you're trying to find common factors, 1 will always be a common factor of two whole numbers. Okay, what else do they have in common? 2, I can see in both of these lists. I can see 3 in both of these lists. And I can see 6. So in that case, the common factors of 18 and 24 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. These four numbers both go into 18 and 24. List the common factors of 4 and 8. Well, when I ask people this, a lot of people will say that the common factors are 1 and 2, because these are both numbers that go into 4 and 8. However, what they're missing is that 4 is also a common factor of 4 and 8. People tend to overlook or miss the fact that one of these two numbers might also be a common factor of them. And now how could we avoid that mistake? We could avoid that mistake very simply by using the method that we used before. What are the factors of 4? 1, 2 and 4. What are the factors of 8? 1, 2, 4 and 8. So we simply then look for the ones that they have in common. 1 and 1, 2 and 2. 4 and 4. So the common factors of 4 and 8 are 1, 2 and 4. Okay. Remember to check whether one of the two numbers could also be a common factor. How would things be different if I'd said what are the common factors of 4 and 8 and 18? Now there are three numbers. Okay. Well that doesn't change the way we go about it. We simply find the factors of 4 the factors of 8 and the factors of 18 and then look for the ones that they have in common and it turns out once you've done that that the common factors are 1 and 2 because these are the only factors that go into both or into 4, 8 and 18 okay common factors of 4, 8 and 18 are 1 and 2 what's the highest common factor of 15 and 21 OK, the only thing that's different about this question is that I've introduced the word highest. So if you can find the common factors of 21 and 15, which you would probably do like this, and here are the common factors, 1 and 3, then you look for which one is the highest out of those common factors. So the common factors were 1 and 3. Which one's the highest? Hello? 3 is the highest common factor of 15 and 21. Okay.
Last example, what's the highest common factor of 15 and 45? Hopefully you're able to find the common factors of 15 and 45 and you would find that they are 1, 3, 5 and 15. How did I do that? Um, not too difficult. Yeah, I've got them all there. The common factors 1, 3, 5, 15. So what's the highest common factor? It is, of course, 15. Okay, again, I bring this out as an example because people often overlook the fact that one of the two numbers could be the highest common factor of the two numbers. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you. Bye.